Get to know the players in our sports community. Hi, I'm Sean Leppard. I'm from Chinatown, Ontario. Once we got into like grade 11, we wanted to focus more on basketball. I don't plan on looking back. Hey, it's Kyle Preplik, uh, Maximum Training Center professional fighter. I was born and raised in Windsor, Ontario. Uh, I went to Riverside Secondary High School. I did a little bit of track and field here and there. Uh, I obviously did high school wrestling only for my last couple years, which I kind of wish I started a little earlier just to, to help develop more of my you know, mixed martial arts game. You know, I used to play hockey. Uh, I didn't do that too much in high school. I tried out and, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't feeling it anymore. Uh, other than that, you know, if it wasn't, you know, sports related or any of that kind of stuff, I was really into like the techs, like welding, a uh, little bit of automotive. After I was done, you know, like playing hockey and whatnot, uh, that following year and that summer, uh, I joined uh, Eastside Boxing Club when I was 15 and I did that the whole summer because you know, I wanted to be stronger, more in shape. I made my move here uh, a year and a half, two years later after you know, I, I saw what else was around the area. I found out like I liked you know, the mixed martial arts and like all contact, like I wanted to do boxing, kickboxing, MMA, and then I'm like, yeah, this is where it's at. Because like, before it was even on Spike TV, you know, when we had like the satellites, we had to put the card in and all that. So that's where I would first watch it and everything, or even on like the old school VHS where you had to like buy it from who knows where. You know, my family's all into it and we just never thought, you know, I'd be doing it and get this far and, you know, still going at it. So here I am. <laughs> now I just train people here and I run my own little company to clean commercial parking lots. Prep maintenance, just because it's all it is, I'm getting everything prepped, ready to go and then everyone at their convenience to have a nice outlook on everything, right? Yeah, I'm into the coaching more now just because, like, you got the young up-and-comers coming and, you know, whatever I had to learn at a later time. The younger generation or whoever's up and coming next or even just people just coming in to train and learn stuff i can pass that on almost like uh you know passing the torch a little bit so you see people who have like no idea like what they're doing and then all of a sudden you're like wow you know everything's piecing together and it's just like uh, when i was doing construction you know you'd see destruction first and one one set at a time you'd see you know a little bit of creation and then it's the same thing with people the more they practice the more they practice and you know the more they attend to themselves and self-development you know, they become, you know, a, not only a better version of themselves, of what they can be, but they just keep growing, not only in their mind, but physically as well. I have a girlfriend at home, uh, her name's Emily. She works at uh, Windsor Regional Hospital. She's an RN. The whole COVID thing and her, like, working especially with all the COVID patients, because that's the unit that she's on, uh, it's definitely opened my eyes more to it. What I like about riding the motorcycle is the freedom. It's, it's just a totally different feeling. It's just just feels cool, I don't know. Not everybody may know is I was released due to my last uh, fight uh, and due to health reasons, obviously, because that health always has to come first. It's just trial and error, but like the email said, you know, you know, you go on a good enough streak, you know, if Canada card comes on and, you know, someone falls out again, get right back in there. Uh, if not, there's other leagues where I can go into since I was on the biggest stage that I, well, that I feel is the biggest stage in the world. Um, it opens many doors where it could be Bellator, PFL, uh, Risen, uh, 1FC, which are all top-notch, high-caliber uh, organizations. I have tons of fight life left, so once, uh, pretty much once that's all said and done, you know, I want to keep going until I pretty much can't compete with the elites anymore. And once that time comes, then pass the torch to somebody else. But until then, yeah, then I'm going to keep going strong. The plan is, like, even though I was released, I, w I would like to make it back there and, you know, become something like George St. Pierre or, you know, Sam Stout and Mark Kominick. Like, those those guys are the foundation of, you know, I think Ontario and Canadian MMA, you know, those guys are, you know, the top-notch guys, especially locally around here. We got Mark Kominick, Stout, and even Chris Hordecki and all those guys, you know, those big caliber guys and made a career out of fighting and, you know, did big things. So I'd, I'd like to do that too. Kyle Preplik, thank you for watching the Power Play Sports video. For local sports coverage, log on to powerplaysportsvideo.com.